Hi there, my name is Laura Waldman and I'm a healer and a freedom coach and I help people who are stuck, anxious and overwhelmed regain a sense of purpose in their life. And today I'm speaking about giving from lack. What happens if you put other people's needs ahead of your own? So are you someone who people come to for advice? Do you find yourself in the caring and giving role often? If so, this video is for you. So first of all, I want you to know that these are your natural gifts, that you're really good at supporting people, helping people, and taking care of people. That is wonderful. But what is absolutely vitally important is that you include yourself in that. What I've noticed is people who are go, move more naturally in the giving role tend to put everybody else's needs ahead of their own and tend to take care of everyone else, forgetting number one, and that is you. Now, it's all very well and good to give and support and help other people, but you must include yourself. If you don't, you risk some negative consequences. One could be burnout. Another can be overwhelm. Another can be feeling anxious. Another can be experiencing physical health problems. You need to be taking care of yourself. And in fact, from my point of view, you need to be putting yourself first. The reason for that is when you put yourself first, when you make sure all your needs are taken care of, you actually have more to give. So I liken it to plugging in the computer or charging up your phone. If the battery is full, it will last longer and it can do more. If your battery is full, you have more to give and more to offer others. If you're stressed or burnt out, exhausted, how helpful can you truly be? In the moment, of course, you're great helping other people, but then you're left suffering. So how kind is that to you? And I'm, I'm not sure why we have this idea that somehow putting other people's needs first is the greatest path. Because from my point of view, that is not a kindness to you, and you must include yourself in the people that you take care of. So what I'd like to challenge you to do is carve out a portion of each day to spend a little bit of time receiving for you. For me, I meditate, I do yoga, I eat well, I make sure I have rest time, and this is my chance to recharge my batteries. If I didn't, there is no way I could do the work that I do. There's no way that I could hold as many people as I hold and support as many people as I support. I would simply burn out. So. It is my daily practice to take time and space for me and reconnect with myself, make sure my needs are met so that I have so much more to give to other people. It doesn't make you a better person or more, you know, spiritual or better to somehow put everybody else ahead of you. In fact, I think it's the opposite. So there's an idea or belief system that it's selfish or somehow wrong to take care of your own needs and that it's better to make, to say yes to everyone. My experience is that it's not. It's not a kindness to you. So I'd like to just highlight this and ask you to find a little bit of time for you each and every day. One thing that you could do is start a meditation practice, which is simply spending a few minutes each day just sitting with yourself and breathing. And often we have resistance to this, but this is a really great place for you to rebalance and realign with you. So I actually have a free meditation training called Meditation Made Easy, which you can find on www.laurawaldman.com and I hold your hand and walk you through step by step how to carve out a time and space for you every day. That is one idea. It could be that you exercise, it could be that you go for a walk, but it's time on your own, it's time with you, and a time to recharge your batteries. You are worth it and it is so important. And I really want to help you reframe that actually by taking care of you and putting your needs first, you actually have so much more to give other people. You don't need a lot of time, but just a little bit of time most days. So, I like to end this with an intention that you can ask yourself every day. What would it take to honor my needs and put myself first, knowing that when I put myself first, I have so much more to give others? What would it take to honor my own needs, put myself first, knowing that when I put myself first, I have so much more to give to others? 
and what can I choose today to recharge my batteries and take care of myself? So if you ask this each and every day, you'll be nudged towards the best solution for you, a way for you to recharge, reconnect, and ultimately to feel better. If you're feeling exhausted or overwhelmed or it's all too much, you are running from lack, you are burning out, your energies need to be replenished. So if you would like any more support with how to do that, I'm here to help you, please feel free to contact me. I'd love to hear your comments or questions, so please comment or question below. And subscribe to this channel so you can receive free videos each and every week sharing tips and tools to help you on your way. I look forward to speaking to you again very soon.